If you're like me, you're using Kittle, you're loving Kittle, it's a great resource for print on demand. In this video, I'm gonna walk through how textures work. So here's just an example of a design that has some texture built into it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add texture, how to modify texture, and how to remove texture. Let's jump in. Now, if you've never heard of Kittle before, then today's your lucky day. It's a free resource. You can sign up for free. There is a premium option, a subscription option, and it comes with a ton of cool tools, easy to use templates, a graphics library, and there's even fun challenges you can do as well. It comes with a commercial license, and I'm gonna put a link in the video description below. You can sign up for it. The link in the video is an affiliate link, and that means if you sign up and you wind up purchasing something, I would receive a small commission. Okay, so let's take a look at adding texture. So I'm gonna to go to the top right, and I'm going to select New Project. When I do that, I'm gonna get a nice white blank canvas to work on. Over on the left-hand side, I'm looking for elements. It's about halfway down the left side menu, and when I click on that, it's going to give me the elements library. At the top, I've got shapes, ornaments, illustrations, and abstract. And over on the right here under abstract, as I scroll on down, I'm going to see grunge. There's six grunge effects, and this is our texture that we can use. So simply by clicking one, it's gonna populate now into the field, and I can make this larger, smaller, I can rotate it, I can do whatever I like with it. Simply by clicking outside of the texture, right like this, I can change my background color, and I could make it dark. Now when that happens, I click on the grunge effect, the texture, and I can change that now on the right-hand side where it says object color. Simply by clicking it, I can make it white, I can make it gray, I can make it whatever color I want. You can even make it something really crazy like red, for example. If I wanna copy the texture, I can do that as well. I can click on it and I can right click and I can copy and then I can click outside and I can click paste. That will now give me a second piece of texture and now I could rotate that as well and I could put it somewhere else in the design. By simply doing this a few times, Control C is to copy, Control V is to paste, I can create a really nice grunge effect. But when I click on any individual, you can see they're popping up as the squares that I've put in here. You can also add in other ones too. I could click on this new grunge effect and I could add that in as well. And then by clicking object color, I can change it and I can even match using the little eyedropper tool. I simply click on one of the current reds and I can make it look red as well. So you could make this look as complicated as you like. To modify a texture, it's a similar skill set. So here I've grabbed a template, the ocean beach, and when I click on it, I'm going to get over here on the right hand side, the background color is gonna come up and there's also a texture button that comes up as well. This is the key right here, it says release texture. So again, when I click outside, I can click on any individual aspect of the design, the text, for example, the background, like the retro sunset, I can change all of that. But when I click on the background specifically, you'll see the texture comes up. Now I select release texture and look at that. Now there's a huge square. I can now change the texture. I can move this right outside. I could delete it just by clicking the delete key and now the texture is completely gone. You can do Control Z or Control Z to undo that as well, and you can make the texture come back again. And I can even click down on the bottom right-hand side, there's a Layers button, and when I click on the Layers button, you'll see all the different layers come up, and in here, I can select the actual grunge effect itself. It's right here at the top, it says Illustration Image. When I select the little eyeball, it will actually disappear. So you don't necessarily need to delete it, you could just reduce the visibility down to zero as well. If you want to remove the texture, here's a fun little exercise that you can do. You can click on the design itself, and you can see here it says background color, but there is no option to look at the texture. Huh, where's the texture hiding? Okay, well let's do a fun little exercise here. I'm just simply gonna start deleting out everything in this design one by one. So I've removed the text. I'm now gonna remove the microphone. Hmm, I'm gonna remove this text down here. So now we're stuck with this bar, but there's something behind it, right? So I'm gonna remove that. So now I'm gonna click on the actual background and I'm gonna change the background color. Okay, there's something hiding there. Hmm, okay, where is it hiding? How can I get at it? Because when I click on the background, there's nothing here. The secret is down in the layers panel. So when I click on the layers panel on the bottom right, I'm going to see the layers all pop up and there's a grunge effect and look at that, there's a little lock next to it. That means that when I click on this, I can't do anything, I can't access it, huh. 
So I'm going to click this and I'm going to unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, I can go in and I can move it around. It's actually a couple shapes. So I can double click it and I can move this one over. I can click it again, move this one over. It now separates out. It's actually four different individual grunge pieces that have been moved in and I could simply select them and delete them one by one or I can just delete them all as a group. Remember to go down into the layers panel and all will be revealed. You can unlock those layers as you need to. It's a great hidden effect sitting inside of Kittle. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love using Kittle. I love all of the templates and the design elements. There's so much to do. There's so much to see. I highly encourage you to sign up for Kittle. It's absolutely free. And the membership package is fantastic. Well worth the value. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your Kittle skill set. Thanks a lot for watching.